Look, I, I mean, I've dealt with uh, children in a prison program that were 16, 17, around the same age as him. And I've always told them, I, I don't care what you rhyme about, you know. I'm not sitting here telling you what you can rap about. I just tell people to make it interesting, to, to make it something that is viable for the community to get something from. You know, entertainment can be used for lots of things, to educate people or to keep them ignorant. Um, I just hope that there's some moral to the story, that it's not just a setup to a joke that continues to go on and on. And I'm not just talking about him, because this isn't about him or anybody else, um, other than the people who are actually in the street doing it. He's not shooting anybody. He don't want to catch a case for killing nobody. But the people that are out there are the ones who are on the front lines of this struggle, you know? I, I can't comment on, on what his situation is. shoot somebody. I mean, that's why he was on probation and going back to jail. Right, but he's not doing that now, is he, with the big Interscope deal and all the other stuff? That would be stupid, wouldn't it? What? That's what Jay said. What? If you shoot, uh, you know what I mean, you're famous. If I shoot you, I'm brainless. We get to, we're, we want to be at some point in a career where, uh, you don't have to do things like that, where you're not in a position where you have to fill your life with that negativity. Um, I don't think that that any young person can look at this situation and think to themselves, wow, that couldn't have been me, because that really could have been you. You know, If him or anybody else had lived in Florida and they decided to come home one day and they felt like somebody was following them, you know, they could have very well turned around and said, who the hell are you? What are you following me for? And an altercation could have occurred. Who's to say that he couldn't have become Trayvon Martin? You know, I, I don't think that we can judge somebody based solely upon the type of music they make. Because when I was Chief Keef's age, I was robbing and stealing people, uh, stealing from people. I was in prison. You know what I mean? Y you can't tell me. You couldn't talk sense to me at that particular time. I'd have, I'd have, you know, thrown you down a flight of stairs or something. I'd have been like, man, get this nigga out of here. I don't want to hear nothing. I think that people have to learn on their own. And sometimes if you're stubborn and you're one of these people that doesn't want to listen to anybody else. And I'm not saying that's him, but I'm just saying in general. If that's who you are, then you've chosen the I want to learn life the hard way route. You know? And if that's what you want to learn, then remember... You're going to learn things very quickly, and you're going to learn very important lessons, but you're going to have to deal with the consequences of those lessons. When you take the rush course, then life is packed together, and you, you don't get to, to, to sit there and study for the big test. No, that means you get a pop-up quiz every day, whether you're going to live or whether you're going to die. You're in business with Def Jam and you're helping them sell records. Universal, you're helping them sell records. So what exactly is it for sale, Kanye? <laughs> I don't get it. I'm confused. You know, don't be, you know, fake revolutionary for profit. I enjoyed it. It was awesome. I wish I would have uh, been a part of it. Alright, so do you enjoy the the E It was it was pretty it was pretty alright. I had I had fun watching it.